All right, what's going on, you guys? This is Erica. It's for the win. This is going to be a very, very casual review of Mr. Shifty. I don't have any notes or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. This whole video, though, is going to be footage from the last level of the game. So if you don't want any spoilers, you can just, you know, look away, open up another tab or something like that. Um, but then again, would you be watching a review video? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna be, you know, keeping it real simple. I'm just gonna tell you guys overall how I felt about the game, what I really liked, what I didn't like, if if I could come up with some stuff, because I really did like this game. But yeah, we're, I'm gonna talk about it for a few minutes, and then the rest of the video will be the gameplay of the last level, which was pretty tough. So no deaths are going to be included. I'm just gonna give you all of the uh, positive gameplay, no negative deaths or anything like that. So it's going to be death free as far as the gameplay goes, because it would be a much longer video if I included everything. But yeah, it was a tough, tough uh, last level. I think I died 40 something times. It gives you the tally at the end. So if you're curious. But anyways, let's get into this review. Overall, I really like the game. I'm sure you guys guessed that already. And if you couldn't tell by my first impressions, I was I was impressed by the game. I thought it was really fun. I thought, uh, you know, it was really unique in terms of just games I've played. You know, this is a game that um, is kind of inspired by, you know, old school kind of top down brawlers. I used to play um, games like this when I was younger. What was that one game? It was like something TV. I don't remember what that game was called, but this kind of reminds me of that. I think it was Smash TV. Let me Google this right now because that was a game. Yep, I think it was Smash TV. That was a game I played a lot when I was younger. And so it kind of reminds me of games like that. Um, of course, you know, this is a game by Tiny Build. They were uh, kind enough to give me a code. And Tiny Build, you know, they're always kind of known for having these unique kind of, you know, indie games that are kind of under the radar. And this one, I think, has a little more attention because, you know, it's coming, it's, it's on the Switch and um, it's one of those games that people kind of look at like, oh, that game looks cool. You know, it's, it's had some trailers and things like that. It was, it was shown on the Nindies presentation for the Switch, I believe. So it was getting a little bit more attention from um, some gamers. And I think that's good because it deserves it. This game had a lot of pros, in my opinion. I felt like uh, it never got boring. That's one thing. Because with a game like this, you would think they'd have an excuse to kind of be repetitive, right? Or have the same enemies or just have the same kind of, you know, uh, formula through the whole game. And technically the formula is still a brawler and you go through each room, you have to clear that, clear it out and move on to the next. That goes on through the whole game. But I felt like the enemies were very different. The more you progressed, the harder they became, the different weapons they had. It was, you know, it was a good variety in terms of the enemies. And it also had uh, stuff that was going on with the environment itself. You had lasers to worry about. You had mines that were on the ground and explosives that you had to watch out for. There were different layouts to the rooms that made it more difficult as you went. It became more um, about, okay, which which wall am I going to get behind so I can survive this because things are just going on around you. It wasn't just straight up walk into a room, beat everybody up and move on. You had to really kind of navigate and strategize on how you were going to approach that. Because more often than not, if you did that, you know, if you just walked in there and started hitting everybody, you would get shot, something would happen, you would die. You had to really kind of plan out what you were going to do for each room. And the more you progressed, the more challenging it got. And for that, I feel like, you know, this game made the most of what it had. It made the most of this formula. It made the most of these areas. And it just flat out never got boring because there was always something new to see. There's always some new enemies. And on top of that, you know, the enemies, once you saw new different ones, they would start to gang up on you at one, you know, all at once. So it became more of that, of approaching what to do with all the enemies when they were on the screen at one time. Instead of just focusing on one type, you had more than one and it switched up the gameplay, it changed it up. So that I think is the, the best thing about this game. And what really makes it stand out is that it never got boring. It just, it was always fun. It was always, you know, keeping my attention and making me want to play more. And so for that alone, I feel like Mr. Shifty is definitely worth the uh, 15 bucks. It's only 15 bucks. It's really cheap compared to some indies that are out right now that are like 20 and above. 
And some of them, you know, they look good, but I'm looking at that price thinking $20? I don't know. At $15, it's much more approachable. It's much more easy on your wallet and you won't regret it. it it's actually a game. I think I spent eight hours on it. So um, yeah, it took me eight hours to beat. So it's not short. You know, it's not, it's not like two hours or something like that. If it was really short, I would say mm, maybe hold your money, but for eight hours, 15 bucks, and it's definitely a game I would pick up again. It has a lot of replayability for it. Just the fact of, you know, going through these, these levels and them being so fun, I don't see why I wouldn't pick this up again, you know? It's not one of those games I'm just going to forget. And I think when I'm talking about 2017 later on, and I'm talking about the indies of this year, this could definitely be indie of the year, you know? So... It's memorable. It's something that I think, you know, adds to the catalog of this year of, you know, it being so great because there's so many good games right now. Mr. Shifty is definitely one of them. And so if you're into saving money, you're into indies, you're into, you know, games that you can pick up, put down, kind of, you know, take with you if you have the Switch, I would definitely look at Mr. Shifty and think about picking it up. So yeah, that's pretty much my review. If you want a score for it, I probably, hmm... I'd probably give it like a 7.5 or an 8 um, just because, you know, it did have a couple glitches that happened on me. It does have some frame issues. Um, that's probably the only negatives that I can really bring up. There was one level where I cleared out the whole uh, area. I cleared out the whole room, but it wouldn't trigger the door. I couldn't get through the door. I, I looked everywhere. There was nothing to do, so I had to restart it. That was very early in the game. I want to say like level three or four or something like that. So yeah, it didn't happen again, but I still have to mention it. It did have that glitch. And of course the frame rates uh, dropping when there's a lot of characters on the screen, there's a lot of explosives going on and stuff like that. It can struggle a little bit, even on PC. So yeah, I'm hearing it's happening on the Switch as well. So that's definitely something I have to bring up as a negative. So because of that, and maybe it could have had a better final boss. The The final boss was kind of underwhelming. You'll see that at the end of the video. But yeah, I would say, yeah, I'd give it like an eight. I think, I think that's a good, decent score if we're considering it on the spectrum of like indie scores, you know, games that are not very long. They don't have a big budget. The graphics aren't crazy good. They're decent though. I, I like the look, I like the art style, but you know, if we're basing it just like on an indie type of scale, I would give this game an 8. I think that that's a good score for it. Maybe even an 8.5. It's kind of between like 7.5 and 8.5. It's kind of in there. Um, so yeah, if you like, you know, number scores, I guess you can, you know, take that for what it is. But overall, I really like the game and I highly recommend it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy watching the rest of this last level. If you're curious, you want to see how it plays out. Um, not much of an ending, but you'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, you guys. And I will talk to you in my next video. Peace.